I'm Ina Fried. I'm here with CNET with Dean Hakamovich, who is the newly minted Vice President for Internet Explorer. We're here at the launch of IE9. Um, so what's the news today with IE9? Well, Ina, IE9 beta is available for download right now, and uh, it includes support from over 70 partners worldwide. We've got sites live on the Internet that uh, really show off uh, what you can do in your browser, uh, puts the site at the center of attention. So we've seen kind of the behind the scenes, the new uh, faster engine, the hardware acceleration, some of those features, but what most people haven't seen is the full look and feel of IE9, which is one of the things you'll get to see in the beta. What are some of the features of the user interface? Well, let me show you one in particular. Here I've got a Windows 7 desktop, and if you look here along the bottom, you'll see that I've pinned a lot of websites uh, that I use a lot. Um, so there's the Rotten Tomatoes movie review site. In fact, here's Twitter.com. Not a Twitter app, but actually Twitter.com. Uh, in fact, why don't I go to your site, so here's Beyond Binary, and I can take the tab, and I can drag the tab down to the taskbar, and put it right here next to Twitter where it belongs. When I let go, it's got its own icon, and now I can launch directly the same way I launch any Windows application. If you look up over here, you'll see that there's regular IE with a back button address bar, and now here's your site pinned. You notice that the back and forward buttons pick up uh, the red out of the CNET. Um, uh, icon and the scene at icon is very prominent because the experience really is about your site. Maybe one of the things that's worth showing is back down over here on the taskbar, if you look at Twitter, you see that sites can also program jump lists. And here the Twitter jump list looks a lot like the Twitter site. And I'm sure that your site will have a jump list that looks a lot like the rest of your site with exciting things that, that you want to offer your readers. So for those who haven't seen the new look of IE, one of the things you notice is the Chrome, if you will, the uh, the part of the browser that's not the website takes up less space. Was that a deliberate design goal? Well, the, the design goal was to have the browser focus the user's attention on the site. And one of the side effects of that is fewer pixels used by the browser. Um, I think when you, when you look at the different browsers, some of them say, look at me, I'm the browser. And some of them say, look at the site, the site to the star of the web. So the IE9 bit is available as of today. What does it require? What kind of computer? Uh, Windows 7, uh, Windows Vista machines can run it just fine. There are 32 and 64-bit flavors. And uh, because it is the World Wide Web, the beta is available in 33 languages. Great. Thanks, Dean. Thank you.